Hatch at her? Is there something going on? Yes, these only colors are cool. Um, oh, I guess this one's cool. All right. So the first and weirdest thing about Oni is that he does not have variations for close and far normals. Uh, he actually has um, uh, more. S he has. He probably has the most normals of any character in the game. If you hit forward, all his normals change, and that's that. That's uh, Dudley and Makoto have that too, but they have no other command normals, and, and Oni has the back medium kick punch as well. So he gets that one little extra jump on them. They might have more command normals between them, though. I don't remember. Um, so, Oni has a shit ton of normals. We're going to go through them as best we can. Um, I didn't change my taunt. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's uh, a really good co color, actually. Holy shit. Which one, yours or mine? I like yours. yours. <laughs> no, dude, yours is the cool one. I like that purple. <laughs> okay, so Sand Jab um, is plus quite a lot of frames. And I think most characters can't crouch it. Yeah. I should have the frame data from when I play. There's no reason I I couldn't. <laughs> uh, I think it it might actually be yeah, okay. It seems to work standing pretty much. So you can do that. Mm -hmm. Um, and it is more. It's I think crouch jab is only like plus six, right? Or plus five? I think plus five. Uh, plus six. Plus six. It. All right, cool. Yeah. So um, that's um, that's less. So stand jab is theoretically better in a lot of scenarios. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me get some damage on the screen too, because I don't have damage. Stand jab is 30, crouch jab is 25. So there is a damage difference. So stand jab is mm -hmm. usually superior if they both work, which I think they usually do. But uh, three frame startups. I would so. I would trust crouch jab a little more. Yeah, all shadows have the three frame jab. Oni, despite his weirdness, does have shoto normals down decently. His most of his normals yeah. coincide with shoto normals. Um, oh god. Okay. Uh, I love this move. Yeah, me too. It's actually it's actually a really good normal. Mine doesn't have the effect. Yours has an effect on it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the costume. Uh, you glow red. Um. All right. So stand, crouch jab, stand jab, both three frame normals, and he's got the towards jab, which I think is slower. I don't plus know. Five. Yeah, but plus five, but it has a. Uh, a four frame startup. Okay. It does have a different hitbox than the stand jab. It goes slightly farther and um, I think it does slightly more damage. No, it does the same. Uh, but notably it has a target combo associated with it, which is one of Oni's two target combos. It's um, not a super... It's it's for the most part worse than his other target combo. You used to be able to chain into it, which was kind of strong. You used to be able to just do like that and it w you could chain it and you get a, tr a true block string. So you could just do like a true block string into an uppercut for chip damage. And that would, um, you could use that to like, well, you can already guarantee kills off of light normals, but there were, there were scenarios where you could get really long confirms off of, uh, off of, uh, that it is, it is, it does have enough frame advantage to combo into, uh, most of the things he would go for like light slash and Tatsu and whatnot. So it is a pretty good target combo. And notably, I think you can't crouch it. Try, uh, holding. No, you can't, you can't. Cause you can crouch this other one. And that's kind of a problem. Um, so there's that, but the damage isn't really there. It only does 90 damage for both hits, which is uh, not really worth going for. You might as well just link into a Crouch Fierce, which does 90 by itself, and you get less scaling. Um, yep. And it, stand, it forces stand. Yeah, yeah, so you get the Tatsu, you get the reliable Tatsu combos and stuff. Yep. So before we get ahead of ourselves, um, Stand Short actually has incredible range, and it does, nice range. It, really that. it does cancel too. So you could do, you could, yeah, you could empty cancel into hard Tatsu. <laughs> Empty cancels on lights are like yeah hard because you get you get it's it's because you have to it's because of the negative edge is what always gets people yeah. it's because you just have to hold down the kick for a little while you can't just release it immediately mm -hmm. um, you can do a lot of combos like like from far away like normally Oni wants to do combos like uh, that as like bread and butters but if you get jabs from far away you don't really have those options available all the time maybe like, on Oni <laughs> yeah maybe on Oni Oni's pretty wide Oni's one of the wider characters in the game. But if you do, if you just chain into, if you go into stand short, that actually cha that chains, so it's um, you, or it's you can make it a true block string. But also, you can go into it from true block strings, and no matter how far you do it, you can always get that pickup to that combo. So you can get like really far away connects and still convert them with Oni, which is nice. Uh, and that's the main use of that stand short. But it is a halfway decent poke, apart from its absolutely terrible damage. The towards short works pretty much like um, Ryu's, Evil Ryu stand forward, 
in that it has a lot of priority, and it goes surprisingly far. The damage is terrible, though. The damage is only 50. I think uh, Evil Ryu Stand yeah. Forward is... Actually, Evil Ryu Stand Forward is only like 60, so that's not too bad. Or 70, I think. Yeah. You don't lose a whole lot of damage on it. You can't... This has no it combo potential. Because it makes a better noise. Yeah. <laughs> It does make a better noise. That's the psychological reason. It's because there's a lot more yeah. blocks done and hits done. This yeah. is ju this just feels risky to go for. <laughs> but it does remove his low hurt boxes, so you can actually dodge like a uh, low forward by hitting that button, which is kind of cool. It's actually pretty good at counter hitting low pokes. Um, so like the only the, the only downside of this move is that it has no combo potential. It's um um <laughs> feel like we're trying to align the planets right now. Um, <laughs> it's like evil reason. Well, it's yeah, 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 but it's but it's it's in, a, in most aspects. Yeah, yeah. Um, just on a different button. Interesting, interesting little poke there. But yeah, you can't combo into it. I, I think you might be able to combo into it. You can't combo out of it. That's for sure. I think you can probably do something like that and have it work. <laughs> oh, you can combo into it off the lights. And stand, yeah, stand light punch would definitely work. Cute. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, low short. Uh, chains into jab like every other shadow, so you really ought to st start your combos like that. Uh, Oni would probably usually do what I just did for the four stand or for damage. He would probably go into the target combo. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I think. You'd only do you do as as few light normals as possible. Yeah, if you're bad at hitting for me like me, you'd probably do a lot more. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, drinking. Um, stand for stand strong. It's like um, it's it's got a hitbox reminiscent of I think um, Akuma Far Stand Fierce I think looks like that um, I think it does anti air but uh, it's pretty reliable but it's not very rewarding um, you got a really good one right at the start but now you're getting counter hit so Akuma only uses this button for um, far anti airs but I don't even think that's that good for any but he definitely has better options so it's not even worth discussing mm -hmm. it does cancel though which is kind of neat. Like a lot of a lot of shutters now have far stand strong as they can cancel ever since Ryu got it and Sakura got it. Um, so that's that's not super useful, but there are combos you can do there that actually do work. I think that's one of them, and uh, that's kind of hit. <laughs> we'll never know. Um, but you can combo into it and you can uh, cancel it. And every now and then I see someone go for a combo like that, and it's kind of weird, but I don't know. If people do it, then it must be good. Um, hold on. Uh, towards strong is the overhead. It is notable in the fact that it is an overhead and thus cannot be blocked low. Uh, apart from that, it's um, kind of forgettable. It's useful for his demon, of course. But um, oh, you gonna do you have that? <laughs> I can do it like one attempt out of three. I used to have it. Hey, let me have a go. Not getting forward. <laughs> yeah. In a while. Ah, oh, close. Well, whatever. All right, hold on. No, there's no what whatever's here. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> All right, I give up. <sighs> okay. So uh, it's an overhead, and it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's decently fast for an overhead. And it's two hits, so it breaks armor. So you can do um, you can you can sneak this by on people all the time. I I like to do. It's basically like Ryu's or Akuma's. It's it's Akuma's. Akuma's got this exact overhead. Mm -hmm. Um, you can, After a yeah, you can, you can do like a, hey, stuff like that. Surprise people. My block yeah. string. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really good just inherently for that value, but you can't combo out of it. Like a lot of overheads have like one frame combos yeah. out of them. But it's only plus two. So if yeah. you hit second hit, counter hit, maybe <laughs> something, then that's not going to happen. Unless you hit a focusing opponent. Yeah. So let's see it. Here we go. Oh, fuck. That lagged. Did I get it? Yep. Yeah. Look One, at that. Two, three, <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Um. All right. Back. Back. Strong is a button. I guess, yeah, it actually does decent damage, 60, and it has a lot of frame really advantage. Like okay, go. Uh, it has a lot of frame advantage, but a lot of hit stun. You can actually link it into itself, and it's like a two-frame link. But uh, it's it's deceptively hard because of how much hit stun it has. The hits are really far apart. There, I just got it. Um. I think that does the same damage as repeated low strong, so you'd probably usually just go for those. Yeah. But it does kind of look cool when you get that link. <laughs> if you want to style on people. Um, but it's the lead into his target combo too, which is 140 damage in two hits, which is way higher damage than most target combos. And that means that even with the scaling, it's usually worth going for. 
So um, that's a that's a really good one. That's Oni. That's literally good enough that Oni usually wants to go into it for nearly all of his combos. That's the cancel he wants to use. Is the uh, target combo too? He wants to do like uh, confirms into it and uh, um, whatever looks like that, and then punish combos into it as well. It's understood that both of those work. Um, yep. And then I like how is how your color like glows. When yeah. Backstrong. Yeah. <laughs> they were they put a lot of attention into Oni's models. Yeah. I have no chest. <laughs> I broke it open. <laughs> um let's see here. Uh Love Strong has it's a two frame link into itself, which is pretty nice. I think uh Ryu has that exact Ryu has a four frame startup one. I think this one's five frame startup. But um it does combo into itself and yeah. it does combo into a lot of the other normals he has, like that. So, um, that's pretty useful in and of itself. Yeah, you can do low strong, low fierce. That's like the that's the bread and butter if you um, if they're crushing. I think I missed it. <laughs> no, I got it. Yeah, yeah, that's four hits is correct. You want light Tatsu for damage if you get the uh, the two hit version of like the hard Tatsu. It does more damage than really getting like the yeah. I didn't know that. Hold on, time out. Light Tatsu is one ten by itself. And two hits of hard Tatsu is 80. Wow, look at that, dude. I never knew that. What about two mm -hmm. hits of medium? <laughs> medium only gets one hit unless you get that get startup. Two hits of medium. Yeah. Medium startup hit is godlike. Um, all right. Yeah. So um, that's that's cool. I didn't I didn't know yeah. I didn't know of a purpose for light Tatsu for Oni. I was like, yeah, wow, I, this I, is. <laughs> I was experimenting with it. I was like, um, that's cool. like, because if you're hitting a cartridge opponent and you want damage, you'll want to do that because mm. of how the four stand works. Yeah. All right, so um, that's cool. That's useful. Let's not get off track, though. Yeah. Uh, what normal were we on? Low strong. So stand forward oh, is uh, is um. Oh, this button. It's uh, it goes quite far, but the hitbox is not that good. It looks like it should be two hits, but I think it's only one. No, it is two. So too close. Um, it's not it's not super strong. It does go the farthest of I think all his pokes besides towards fierce. But um. The hitbox, it goes kind of too high, so it misses crouching opponents, and mm -hmm. it's not that good for... It's not as good for poking as it looks. It looks like it would be like Vegas Stairman House, but it's really not. It's more used to, like, if you do combos that push you too far away, this will push yeah, you. Yeah, you can actually, you can actually... It's fast enough that you can just uh, confirm into it. I, yeah. I missed all of that, but uh, that actually, that whole thing works. That's like a, that's like a string. I'm not getting it. <laughs> there it is. Um... Let me see. Shit. Is that? Oh yeah, you can do the first hit cancels actually. So there are yeah, times the when you. Yeah, first hit cancels. There are times when you can use that, but it's usually outclassed. Um, crutch medium kick is like reuse crutch medium kick, but slightly less range, and it doesn't do a whole lot of block stun, so it's kind of hard connecting it really far out into fireballs. Uh, if you hit like a poke with it, it won't combo. Well, I just fucked that up. That's a really bad negative edge that he has. It doesn't combo in a light anyways, yeah. yeah. That was Mega Veg you were saying, so... Um, but yeah, there are ranges where this won't combo into the fireball, and that makes it kind of annoying. But Ken's like that too, so whatever. Um, it's it's a low, and he has a ton of combo potential out of it. You can do, like, um, low forward fireball if ADC combos, for example, mm -hmm. which I immediately blew. Um, something like that. Something like... I, um, I think that standing pierce is pretty hard to link into anyways. Mm. Yeah. Something like that. So he's got a lot of combo potential out of this low forward. So it's it's like a it is a really good low poke. It's one of his better pokes. But unfortunately the range isn't as high as the other shadows. And unfortunately, um I think the startup is I don't know. I think the startup's probably five or six frames, so it's probably alright, probably like Ryu's. Um Or like Akuma's more appropriately, but Akuma's is better because it goes farther. And it has a little bit more I don't know if it has more blocks on, but I feel like it gets the combo into the fireball more often. Ah, oh, that negative edge sucks. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that wasn't even a combo. The medium punch fireball, I got a combo. Was it just the range was different? Yeah, I think the range was different. Mm -hmm. EX probably... No, that didn't work. <laughs> I was going to say EX <laughs> probably works more often, but it didn't. Whatever. Anyway, um, step kick. It's a worse version of Ken's step kick, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just slightly worse. It has probably more startup. 
and probably worse recovery. I don't know. I don't know if mm -hmm. definitively if it has more startup and worse recovery. It looks like it has more startup, and it definitely has less range. Uh, it does carry him forward like as much as Ken's does, which is kind of cool. And it does have a car throw off of it, though it's not as good as Ken's. So that's pretty useful. And it uh, only has a couple car throws. This is generously the best one now, ever since Ultra. They buffed the car throw range of this without changing it other ways. So it's actually... A, car focus. Yeah, car, th yeah. car focus works as well. And I think his other car throws off uh, Stand Around House or Forward Round House or something. I don't remember. Um, I think it's Fierce. Stand Around House. Stand Around House is a pretty good one. Oh no, Fierce is Evil Reuse. Yeah, Fierce is Evil Reuse. Stand Around House. But then you got yeah. a better one on the step kick. They look kind of similar, actually. <laughs> So, um, it's cool. He has that. It's useful. Car throws. Hit, you get confirmed combos. Yeah. Um, okay. let's see here. Um, Stan Fierce is, uh, an anti-air. It's probably his most reliable anti-air, but it's not his highest damage one. Okay, it's most an reliable anti-air is uppercut. But, um, this, this actually hits him in air normal, dog. This hat, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do it kind of early. But uh, it's quite reliable at uh, beating air to air normals, or beating anti-air, at, at being an anti-air. Uh, it's actually more reliable than Crouch Fierce. For most Shadows, the Crouch Fierce is the go-to. But Crouch Fierce tends to either win or trade for Oni, but the Stand Fierce tends to win. So Stand Fierce is actually better, and it goes like higher up, so you're less likely. It, it's wider, and it trades less. And I think they both do the same damage. I think they both do 100. That's kind of it. Yeah, they both do 100. Uh, this does 90. Oh, 90. Actually. Okay. So the Stand Fierce is better in pretty much every human way. Um, which is weird, because people, once again, would instinctively hit Crouch Fierce if they were a Shadow. But the Crouch Fierce is better for hitting directly above him, which is nice if you're, um, if it's like a cross-up Tatsu or something like that. Yeah. Um, uh, Stand Fierce is good for punch combos. Yeah, yeah, it does It does the most damage of any single normals, but you'd usually go for target combo. But Stand Fierce yeah. does do, you know, if you were just, if you were just, you know, I don't know, if you are just a, a new, a new Oni, and you just blocked so-and-so move. That does work if it combos, so. Yeah. It's good. Ah, oh, my dash. I haven't done these in a while. <laughs> well, I'm too early. Yeah, getting that FADC down hurts a little bit, because it can't be pretty late, I'm pretty sure. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, fun. whatever, whatever. So, um, let's see here. Crouch Fierce does go directly yeah. above his head. We pretty much talked about it already. Uh, towards Fierce is a very interesting move. It's very slow. But um, the reach is insane, and he cars himself forward before he does it, so um, it's actually very vulnerable to poking and stuff, because his hurtbox is right in front of you before the attack actually connects. And it has a projectile. counts as a projectile. Yeah, it's got yeah. a projectile hitbox in the hand, and there's a couple really neat uses for that, but for the most part it's very forgettable. Oh, we'll get to that, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> um, it does cancel, and one of the, the intended, I don't know the, the intended use. Uh, one of the things you can do with that, if it gets counter hit, you can actually towards Fierce and then FADC and get a combo out of it, which is pretty cool. But more realistically speaking, you can red focus because it, it super cancels. Um, and calling it a super cancel is kind of weird because his, his demon cancels from anything, but technically it's a super mm -hmm. cancel, even though, like, you know, just because it doesn't cancel special moves. Um, but if you hit a fireball with it, which, ow, fucking, why'd you throw an EX one? If you hit a fireball with it, it's kind of cool because it, uh, it destroys the fireball. Usually that's useless, but they're... It does advance you in a little bit, so it's not. It's kind of cool. But notably, if you get a really early fireball, like if you're kind of close and you get the fireball punish. Oh, um, you can go right through, can't you? No, no, no. Oh no. Yeah, that. Oh, <laughs> that could be good. You, I, you can you can dispel a fireball idea. and then um yeah. and then demon it, and that's that's um that's oh god no dude <laughs> the meta <laughs> I could have demon too. Oh yeah, if you if you. Shinku Hadoken. Did you talk about how if you press all three punches while holding back twice, you get a target combo? I don't know about the word twice in that. The yeah, it's because button part. No, and command normals take priority over uh, regular normals. So um, because it's the only because of all three back punches, the only command command normal is the back medium punch. Um, the back medium punch is the one that has the highest priority, even over the fierce. Anyway. Um, Towards Fierce, uh, another thing about it is that you can get some weird punishes off of it. Like if you block a Hawk Dive, Oni doesn't have a whole lot that he can do after blocking a Hawk Dive, but he can get a reliable Towards Fierce, which is not bad. But because yeah, but because um, it moves you so far forward, 120 damage actually. Because it moves you so uh -huh. far forward, um, 
The red focus after it pretty much always works. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a uh, it's slash it's it's slash where the red focus always works. Slash is no, it's star combo two. That's how it works. Star combo two is the thing oh. that always. Well, whatever. Anyway, we'll get all all that yeah. stuff. I know after blocking a hawk dive, you can towards fierce and then uh, red focus, and that actually leads to incredibly high damage. Of course, it costs a lot of meter, and theoretically, you'd go mm -hmm. for an ultra as soon as you landed it, just to get the ultra. Did I miss all of the oni? Air Demon combos. No. We haven't even talked about that, and we won't for a while. I made a video that has, I think, every single one known one. I haven't seen any that aren't in the video that I made, so... I'll mention all of those when we get to his super. Um, Stairman House is surprisingly fast, and has a surprisingly good hitbox. It's like 5 frame startup or something. It's actually really quick. You can combo out of it from, like... It's actually 6, yeah. 6 frames. It's pretty good, though. Six frames is pretty good. Yeah. I think that works. Definitely crouch jab works. Um, theoretically. Stand jab should work. Stand jab will work easily. You don't really go for combos into uh, stand run house, but um, it does just... I'm just highlighting. It does come out really quickly, and it, the hitbox looks bad, but it's actually not that bad. It goes pretty far out, it goes pretty far low, it goes pretty far high. So, it's not... It's not as terrible as it looks, but also it's outclassed in nearly every scenario where you would use it. It does anti-air okay, um, but it is sort of a general pu uh, purpose poke. It would be good for like... You can catch backdashes like and stuff with play, it. New players doing option selects could probably use this pretty well. Mm -hmm. it, it does go pretty far, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, his towards right house is... Um, it has juggle potential, and it's one of the only things he has with juggle potential. That plus uh, back strong, plus a lot of his special moves are his juggle potential options. Um, so, um, this move, apart from, it, it, Kara's really far and the hit is pretty late, and that makes it really good for his demon setups. Let me see if I can pull one off. Uh, I fucked it up. Let me think about the motion for a second. That was not right. There, something like that. I actually did my low strongs really far apart. Dude, hold down back. Oh fuck, that jab, sloppy. <laughs> like that. His that his Kara demons are insane. They're like the best of any character. He has so much range if you just hide your jabs. You can get you can get demons from so far away, and that's really useful. But we'll get to demons in a second. But this is this this is just a really it it's I I haven't even like hold on let me do it after a cross up just to further emphasize. Uh, fuck that up pretty bad. Hold on. I'm trying to get the max distance away that I can... Fuck. Ugh, sloppy, sloppy. I used to be really good at this. I used to, like, practice buffering it. Because you can literally do, like, uh, low strong, low strong, and then cancel to Tatsu. Or low strong, low strong, mm -hmm. react to the fact that it's being blocked into a car demon. And it's not that hard, in theory. Hmm... Being a really, mm, let me do a. I don't know. I'm I'm focusing on just doing the crouch. The crouch, I'm trying to hide the crouch jabs in the second low strong, but like I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm I'm not even trying to get the strongs to combo. But of course the strongs can combo. Uh, anyway, it goes it goes surprisingly far. And I'm being fucking really sloppy with it. I still got a whiff jab there. That's how slow mm -hmm. I did it. You sh you, a good Oni will do it a lot faster. Whatever. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, Let's try it. I don't know why. it works in a lot of his... Uh, yeah, in a lot of his struggles. Uh, only one hit would probably work, but even that... This, yeah, that setup doesn't work. One hit you can't uh, get... Uh, one hit doesn't launch enough. Yeah. You, but you can do... Yeah, um, he, here, ju it. jump, jump. Just Yeah, okay. Like that. Oh yeah, that one. Works. <laughs> I missed it. No, you have to, you have to, you have to connect it kind of high. Unfortunately, you don't have to connect it that high. You just have to have good timing. Yeah. Um. So that's that's it. Works in a lot of his juggle scenarios, and he has more juggle scenarios than we're giving him credit for. Like it works after mm -hmm. um medium tatsu, cross up medium cross up tatsu. I think all cross up tatsus, but medium's the easiest one to get follow ups after. Um. But that's actually something that works. 
Ever since I learned Ken, like, uh, cross up Tatsus, I've, like, unlearned every other character. Dude, let me have a go at it. Because yeah, yeah. Ken's, Ken's timing is different from all, all the other characters. There you go. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway. Uh, sweet. It's, um, I think it's fast enough to link into. And, um, it does, I don't know, it's a sweep. It's, Oops. it's alright. Nice combo. I don't know, maybe it's, what's the, what's the frame? It's, it's, an, it's eight, and there's nothing that has eight. Oh yeah, eight, okay, so. never mind, never mind. One frame too slow. Um, it has the most the range. Hit yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, one frame link <laughs> from a counter hit jab. Um, <laughs> if you, it has the most range of pretty much everything he has besides towards Fierce. And from far away, it's pretty safe. So it's not terrible, but um, it's just it's it's just like a low poke. But his uh, he doesn't he doesn't really need it. Hi, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, let me think. Uh, what have we have we have we talked about all his normals? Yeah, it's not. I talked about all the normals. All right, air normals. The ninja jump forward is um, the shadow ninja jump forward. It's an amazing anti air. Uh, his other ninja jump normals are probably not super notable. I know that the ninja jump roundhouse is unique. It's a weird medium punch. Oh yeah, well, that actually has a lot of weird properties. It slams. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. That um. Is, okay. So that anti -air, it doesn't it doesn't anti air that well, unfortunately. The hitbox is not as good as you want it to be. Yeah, the but the pay is the payoff weird. is pretty good, and you can actually I've it's never seen that move used before. Yeah, it's actually really really fat. It's really hard because you have to do it so quick. But you can do a demon, um, oh. and that combos. So that's kind of cool. Um, let me think. This hits on both sides. I didn't realize that. Really? Like recently. D does yeah. it? It actually hits behind him. <laughs> yeah. Gonna have a hell of a time trying that. Here, do it. Just do a jump and late, late jump run house. <laughs> Not that late. Uh. Oh, there it was. That's kind of cool. So oh. he does. He does have an air normal that hits behind him. <laughs> that theoretically seems kind of cool, but like you're gonna have a hell of a time landing that in the match. Do it early. Yeah. Dude, you you way too. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah you're right. Um. Anyway. Right. Um. That's pretty much it for his his neutral jump normals. For the towards normals, you got the medium kick for the cross up and the um general purpose utility. You got uh jump roundhouse is he's pretty much got Akuma's air normals I think for the angle jumps. The jump roundhouse is really similar mm -hmm. to Akuma's. The jump medium uh, medium kick is really similar to Okuma's. The jump short is yeah. the Shoto jump short. All, all the Shoto share that. The and fake it's, cross up. Yeah, the fake cross up. That's so dirty. If you do this, it hits on the front. <laughs> it hits on the front and he lands on the front. And that's a true mix up with jump forward, which hits on the back and lands on the back. So um, have fun if you get the opponent in the corner. <laughs> you do demon set us off of that so easily. Damn. Mm. Um. So, yeah, I don't think any of his normals... His jump strong looks like it might be a good air there. We'll get to that. <laughs> well, let me let me check damage. I think his jump fierce... Yeah, his jump fierce did 110. So that's a... Uh, so his jump fierce is technically what you should start combos with. Do any of his combos... Nisha jump fierce is also 110. So jump fierce if you're doing like a post-dizzy combo or something. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so that's that's useful. I don't think jump jab does anything. Um but if it did anything it would be like the only jump jab that does anything. Uh special moves, I guess. Uh Hadoken works like every other Hadoken, but there are some critical differences to it which are worth noting. Uh first of all, it um you can charge it and it does two hits upon being charged. Uh you'll you won't have a whole lot of time to have, you won't have you won't find a whole lot of time to charge it in most matches. Uh, notably, it wears out as a fireball, uh, but if you charge it, it doesn't wear out as a fireball. It goes infinitely, and so it's, it's more plus on. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's actually got amazing frame data if you charge it. Like you can, you can do a lot of stuff if you charge it. You can combo out of it point blank, I think, if you charge it, and if the opponent's in the corner, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably if the opponent's in the corner, you might be able to combo to stand short. That might work. It's plus six on hit. Yeah, so charge. stand short should combo. Why is it suddenly laggy? Okay, cool. I got it. Sorry, I'm, it's because I alt tabbed. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. Let's scroll down. Um. Okay, so that's not it's not super notable, 
but it is notable. You can't charge. You usually just charge it if you're playing footsies with someone and you want to like try yeah. and run through their or fireballs. Or you throw them and you don't feel like going in the face. Yeah, you can you can get a, a fully charged fireball and that's not it's not worthless. It gets chip, you know. It's good. Usually after a forward throw, you do the um one of the slashes to get in, and that builds meter yeah. and it gets you point like blank. That. Um, anyway. Uh, okay, so fireball. Uh, his fireball startup. It looks like worse than other fireballs, but it's actually about normal. Um, and his I fireball like the... hit stun is about normal too. So you can use it in block strings, pretty much like you can use any other fireball in block strings. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say all his fireballs look about the same, but then you have different speeds. Um, let me think. Uh, you can do fireball FADC combos easily with him. Actually, every other Shoto uses Fireball FADC combos, but Oni doesn't really because he has a better FADC option in his Slash. Mm -hmm. But it is worth noting that his EX Fireball FADC does the most hit stun of pretty much all his options to the point that you can do some... Um, I didn't even attempt to do it. You can do some pretty cool combos off of it that don't work with any anything else. Yeah. I got it, cool. This is Ultra Double, but this combo with Ultra 2 by itself ends up doing something like 550-600 damage. So, um... 550 sounds about right. It's actually... It did 518 just now, and that was Ultra Double. So... Yeah. <laughs> I, think it is, I think it's quite a lot. It does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, um, that's three bars to waste, but that's better than his red focus combos, which also cost three bars, so it's worth noting. Disappointing. <laughs> um, <laughs> apart from that, EX Fireball, I think, never wears out. I think. Pretty sure yeah, EX... Um, and then... What else? I find it really weird that his fireball doesn't wear or wears out because Akuma's doesn't. It's like, why do you fucking forget how to throw fireballs? I know the meta, okay? I know the I know the actual lore behind that. It's because um, the fire throwing fireballs with one hand in the Street Fighter universe is a big deal. Like very few characters in the universe can do that. The fact that Goken yeah. throws fireballs in one hand is supposed to show that his complete mastery of like Hadoukens and like all the other Shotos have to throw with two hands. And then you have Akuma throwing air fireballs with one hand, and like Charlie throwing sonic booms with one hand when Gal has to use two. That's like a thing they treat like super serious. It's like, oh, he can throw it with one hand. That's how they show character mastery. So Oni Oni throws fireballs with one hand, but they wear out. So it's like he doesn't. He's not. He's not fireball master. But I don't know. It seems really weird that they. I know they tried to make this character so he can't fight full screen very well. They tried to make him like offensive rushdown kind of character, and he is a good offensive rushdown mm -hmm. kind of character. But um, I find it kind of strange that his fireballs wear out. It just doesn't really make sense. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of annoying too. It does. It does. It does. It, he can play fireball wars fine mid screen if, he's, if you're just trying to build meter. But it's you don't really want to play the fireball game if he's losing it. Really. Yeah, that's the problem. Is you can't win the fireball game with this because your fireball just wear out and then they'll throw a fireball after you and then like you know you're suddenly losing the fireball game again. It's kind of frustrating. Mm -hmm. Um. I can't think of much else to say about his fireball, although I'm sure that there's uh, something. I'm sure there's more to say. Forward oh, light punch yeah, can be used as a fireball fake. A fake. That's okay. The thing about the best fireball fakes have the the quarter circle, and you can't do quarter circle yeah. forward into forward light punch because that'll just give you a fireball. That's why most people just do like quarter circle yeah. forward short. No, he doesn't have the the traditional shoto stand light kick. Yeah. Still, and if you end on the forward, it's pretty slow. So. Um, you have circles, you get slashed. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Um, that's true though. The forward light punch is it's kind of similar. Uh, what was I? Uh, what, that that move. Good choice. So, um, <laughs> electric fireball. It's um, it has properties similar to the red fireballs of Akuma and Evil Ryu. It um has a couple random notable differences. Uh, uh I think Akuma can combo into his EX one pretty easily, and um. Mm -hmm. Uh, Evil Ryu can combo stand strong into any of his versions. Oni doesn't have anything that combos into any of his electric fireballs. So, um... They, they defy... The f win the fireball game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty much... The startup is literally so bad that, um... If the opponent just reacts to the fact that it's the red fireball... I know, dude, Shinku. I know. Um... I, I, uh... It's, the startup is so bad that you can literally react and jump over it and then get a full jump yeah. in combo. So you can't go for them safely unless the opponent's downed or um, uh, if you're outside jump in range. And if you're outside jump in range, they're pretty good because if the opponent commits to a fireball right as you commit to a EX fireball, or I mean a red fireball, um, 
you get you get the forced block damage or the even the punish in some scenarios, which is pretty cool. And one thing about this is kind of a cool little meta is if you're fighting a character with a um, um, if you're fighting a character with a charge fireball, you can really fuck with them by doing the light one. And the light one, um, people tend to react to the fact that you're doing uh, um, people people tend to. When they see a red fireball coming toward them, they think it's going to destroy their fireball and then keep coming, and they have to get out of the way. So if you're fighting like a guy who has sonic booms and you throw the, like the light one, and he throws a fireball at the same time, and then he tries to jump over it, you can like th you can like. Hold on, <laughs> let's try and time this. No, just throw, throw a fireball and then like. Yeah, you'd have to. You 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 would probably expect it to. Um, I shouldn't I shouldn't try to anti air you. What I should be doing is uh, throwing another fireball. So you try and jump over it, and then I could throw another fireball immediately. And if I timed it right, I could make you land on that fireball. And it would hit at a, a time that you weren't expecting a fireball to be... Like, normally I wouldn't be able to put a fireball on the screen, because I'd still have my last fireball on the screen, because, you know, it went through yours. And you can only have one fireball on the screen at a time. But that one just gets dispelled by their fireball. So you can put up another fireball on the screen, and then, you know, fuck with them. Like that. So it's kind of cool. He's got a little meta there. It helps you approach um, characters with charged fireballs, or even just characters with fireballs in general. Whoa. Yeah, it's getting laggy as hell. <laughs> um, let's see here. The EX1 has really good recovery. Like, I think it's actually plus quite a lot on block, uh, just to emphasize how good its recovery is. And you can actually combo out of it into stuff. Nothing super notable, unfortunately, because it uses up a lot of the juggle potential. I think it sets you, sets you to JP2 immediately. You can do like um you might be able to do ultra one especially in the corner but unfortunately um because there's no way to combo into it that's sort of a a much worse setup than it it could be like if you could do like a a better recovery than like Jeez. yeah 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 two frames but like yeah, yeah. yeah the ex uh ex ex is a pretty good mm -hmm. um and apart from that oh yeah this is kind of important uh let me let me set stun to on for a second Light Fireball does 100, 150 stun, which is quite high, considering. And Medium does 200, which is even higher. I think Hard does less. No, Hard does 250. Does. So they all do uh, yeah. they all do a shit ton of stun. So that's cool. There's some character... One of the one of the Red Fireballs does 300 stun on the Light one. Or not 300, maybe 200. I think it's 300. One of them just has a lot of Dizzy. I don't remember whose Light Fireball it is, but it's like someone. Maybe Blue. Um, let me think here. That's pretty much it for the red fireball. Oh yeah, but um, the close one. It sets up a JP2 scenario, but uh, super has JP2, so air super. So if you're really quick about your air demon, you can actually juggle. And that looks completely pointless, but it's actually your highest damage um, super combo off of uh, focus attack. So you can get like a level 2 focus and you have time to do the hard fireball, hard red fireball, and then you can do an air super and that combos. <laughs> I missed it. But it actually does quite a lot of damage. Okay. It's a Kumas that does a high stun, apparently. Um, okay, cool. So... Shuriken, I guess. Most Shadows operate under uh, Light being the uh, fastest and least recovery. Or not necessarily the fastest. All of all of uh, uh, Oni's uppercuts are three frames, including the X. So that's good. Yeah, they are. Um, and then... Anyway, most of, most of the shadows operate under light having least recovery, medium being the most invincible, and hard being the highest damage, and, uh, uh, I don't know, good for combos and stuff, I guess. Uh, Oni works a little bit differently. His light is the fastest recovery. They It, it does one hit in, like, juggles and stuff, but it, they're all three hits if they connect properly. So that makes the damage uh, a lot higher, and it also makes the FADC potential kind of weird. Um, it's only minus 50, you know, block. That's like yeah, it's really it's it's nice got recovery. the least recovery of I think any light DP, which you can, which makes it really good for trying to snipe pokes. Like if I was walking in and out and you were gonna like you were chilling and trying to low forward, and I was like, I was like, uh, like let's say you're you're trying to you're trying to low forward at a range as soon as I walk in, you know, as soon as I walk into range of a low forward, I'm just like trying to footsie here and then I'm just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> nice low forward. All right. It's not hard to it's it's not hard to counter hit normals with his uppercuts because they have great hitboxes. But also, uh, if if you don't commit to a low forward at the right time, and I whiff this, I'm not taking a huge risk. That was actually a punish, and I just mm -hmm. blocked wrong for the second part. Um, 
If you commit to something, even if it's something minor, even if it's like a jab, you're not going to punish me. This is a really fast to whiff. And that's really useful. It sounds like it would only be useful against bad opponents, but it's actually useful all the time. Um, let me see here. Uh, the medium one is not the most invincible. The hard one actually has more invincibility than the medium one. The medium one still has quite a lot, but the hard is even more. Um, but the medium one has a really weird property to it. It's... Um, I shouldn't say it's a really weird property the medium one has. It's a really weird property that all his other ones have. Check this out. Excuse me. Um, jump. Just neutral jump. The hard will never get three hits anti-air. And it will always miss the same hit. It'll miss the middle one. The middle one is the one you can FADC to get the really high juggle. So you cannot do... Hold on. You can't do like anti-air hard. You can't do anti-air hard and get like an ultra. And you can't do anti-air. Actually, I think you can do anti-air light. And I don't know. Hold on. Time out. Let me try it. Yeah, light only gets two hits as well. Do it again. Of course, you can get the high connect light one. And then you can um, FADC. But the medium one actually gets all three hits even on... Oh, yeah. Let me just emphasize like this. This will make it really easy. No, I'll just oh. chill. Um, so you're airborne for the bottom of that, right? And that only got two hits. That was the light one. And here's the heavy one. Two hits. But here's the medium one. All three. So that means it does the most damage in an anti-air scenario, even though like the hard one normally does more damage. The medium one gets more hits, so it does more damage. And also it gets the hit that you can FADC into Ultra. So if you're trying to anti-air with Akuma, if you want reliability, you can just do the hard one. That'll always you know get the damage. But um, if you're doing the medium one, you can here jump into me and do like jump hard kick or something. Oh shit, I FADC'd it too early. You can do like that. And you can't do that with the others. So that's really good, and not a lot of people know that. I've never seen another Oni player. I've never seen an Oni player discuss that. So I imagine it's yeah, known I among Oni. Anti-air DP FADC Ultra is a criminally underutilized uh, setup. Most people just get the anti-air DPs and then they do other setups into Ultra. But that gets you a pretty good Ultra. So like I don't know. I feel like people should use it. Um, EX. I don't know. I actually haven't even. Let me let me. Time out. Let me let me get the crumple. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so that gets all three hits too, so you could do anti-air EX1. But the EX DP actually does insane damage, and it does really insane chip damage. Actually, 190 is less than Ken's EX DP, but whatever. Um, the chip damage is retarded. It's like 50. It's slightly more than 50. So, um, it's like it's slightly more than 60. So, it, you can chip people out from... And this is true for all his uppercuts, but especially the, um, the EX1, because all the other ones just get two. But the X one gets three, and it just it just hurts, and it has more invincibility than almost any other move in the game. Uh, Ryu's and Akuma's, and I think Seth's EX uppercuts all are generously more invincible. But then after that, I think Oni's is next, and I think his regular uppercuts have more invincibility than any other character's regular uppercuts. I think he is I think he has seven frames of invincibility on his hard one or something right about there, and that's uh, generously more than any other character in the game. Um, so you can, you can, you can, you can create dead zones with Akuma if the opponent's at chip health quite easily. Like if it's like a Kami. I don't know about Kami. If it's like, um, yeah, probably a Kami. And she's, she's waking up, you can do like that on her wake up. And it'll beat her uppercut, and it'll chip her out, and it'll catch her backdash. The X one's pretty good at catching backdashes too. Oni unfortunately has quite vertical DPs. They catch backdashes mm -hmm. better than it looks like they would. But, um... It's not as good as like uh, Ken's or anything like that. Ken's hard. Yeah, you're not gonna catch a backdash from those guys, but most characters can't, so whatever. Um, let me see here. You can you can get the hold on. You can get the light light uppercut, and you can get your juggles, and you can do that into um, towards roundhouse. You can do that into medium tatsu. You can do that into ul either ultra. Um, you can do that to air demon actually. That's one of them. Oh. Hi. <laughs> um, you got a lot of options there. That's kind of useful. That's a pretty high damage anti-air, all things considered. Although it does cost your entire super bar. That does more than 50 damage on chip EX. What's um? Okay. What's um? All right, let's just do Tatsu. I can't think of anything immediately after. Oh yeah, hold on. Before we forget, this is important. This is general Oni knowledge. Everyone will figure out five seconds after they learn Oni. Down back. No FADC on second hit. Mm -hmm. You can on block. 
On block, you cannot you cannot FADC second hit. You can FADC first hit. That works now. So you can make you can. Yeah. It's minus five, so you got to backdash. And Oni's backdash isn't that good, so you're probably still gonna get punished if you don't do it. Like if the opponent if the opponent knows that you're not gonna release that you're just gonna backdash, he can like stick out a poke and probably hit you. Um, but um, you can you can make it safe. You can do like that even and get the release hit, and that'll after after the. After the release hit, your forward dash or your back dash will be pretty much safe. Um, but notably, if you try and if you're if you're doing that, you're if you're doing it for safety and footsies, if you don't know it's going to hit or not, you're going to be doing like this. Occasionally, you're going to have it work, and then the opponent's going to kind of um, flop on the ground like that. You don't get it. You don't get combo potential. But on a lot of characters, not on everyone, but on a lot of characters, you can juggle a medium tatsu there if you forward dash. I don't know if Oni is one of the characters it works on. It's actually very tight too. It looks like he's not, but most characters you don't have a juggle available, so it's kind of cool. It's kind of notable that that occasionally works. I just got invited to play Counter Strike. I don't even own that game. <laughs> That's probably an accident. Uh, anyway, looks like it doesn't work for Oni, but whatever. Um, Tatsu. So you got three different Tatsus. They all do different things. The hard one actually does the most damage. Um, standing. Yeah, standing. Mm -hmm. Um, there's not a whole lot of scenarios. Some, sometimes you end with Tatsu. It's, it's, I think it's, um, usually, usually you do it for the corner carry. Usually you end with Uppercut, which is 160, and Hard Tatsu is also 60. So I think, I guess, you would probably end with Uppercut. Or you'd probably end with Tatsu, but it didn't matter. Just purely for the corner carry. You get a jumping scenario with, uh, with Tatsu on characters that don't have good reversals. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, better, better Okizeme off Tatsu. <laughs> that was not the greatest one to go for. But I wouldn't want to just hold up forward because uh, I wouldn't know if you were gonna quick stand or not. I guess it wouldn't matter that much because I could just jump again if you didn't quick stand. Um, all right, so that's not. Oh, you can get. <laughs> you can have the second hit of the extra. You can unlock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, try it. Do. Thank you, Toxic Radio. That's uh, I don't remember if that's always been there, but he does have a three bar, a three bar. That's really useful because not only is that I think it's either plus or barely minus, but it is safe. On block, and the thing about it that's really cool is that it leads to ultra, and it it's it's the only thing where it, you don't know if it works or not, but it still leads to ultra if it works, because this you have to you have to you have to FADC immediately, and that doesn't lead to ultra, so that's um that's quite notable. Unfortunately, Oni has this hits really weird, so um it's kind of hard to get ultras after it, because sometimes you cross under the opponent for part of it, so like uh. You can do like weird motions, but um, or you can just do the motion really fast. But it's actually it, it's a it's a lot harder than it looks. Watch closely, it's not never. Hold on, I did a really weird motion oh. to get that. Wow. I got this. Don't worry. Calm. Please add an option to turn off this fucking announcer. I know, dude. I hate the announcer. <laughs> I never really noticed it. There, I got it. Training mode stuff. Oh, that's nice. That's surprisingly hard to get. I my oh, yeah. my final motion. This is hilarious. I did ex uppercut, FADC, down back down forward punches. <laughs> that was the motion I did. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. It's like a king of fighters motion. Um. So the hard thoughts you end combos with it, I guess. Mm -hmm. After like um. You know, after all your FADCs and all your light slashes are been and done with. But a lot of people tend to end combos with medium stomp, which I kind of like more because it gets that knockdown. I mean, they both get knockdowns. This gets a hard knockdown. Yeah. But this does less damage. It's quite a lot less, actually. Um, but at the end of a long combo, it doesn't matter at all. Um, let me see here. Um, medium Tatsu has a lot of juggle potential. I shouldn't say has a lot of juggle potential. It does actually have a lot of juggle potential. But more importantly, um, any scenario where... You can juggle. Medium Tatsu is usually your highest damage option after ultras. So like, um, jump for me. If I got like an anti-air, light, uppercut. It only does more damage than other options if you can actually get two hits out of it. Which sometimes, it's easier in some scenarios than others. This is probably the hardest one to get both hits. I only got one. But as an example of uh, easy scenarios to the get. The easiest one is probably the easy. air Tatsu. Or that, yeah. There you go. That's one. That's another. There you go. Um, there, there are more. Yeah. I only got one hit there. You can get two. It's not even that hard. 
There you go. So that's actually your highest damage in most scenarios. No, medium does less than hard. It only does more than hard in, in some scenarios. It's 130 versus 160. Um, and then light, apparently, as we as we know now, does the most damage when you would get only one hit of medium or two hits of hard. Which is absolutely fascinating. 230, <laughs> 238 versus uh, I dropped it. Versus I dropped it. Versus I can't hit combos. Let me plink it. I got all three hits. Oh, but it combo dropped. I'm in a poor state right now. I can't even <laughs> hit the combo with the plank, which I failed. There you go. 230, 213 versus 238. I got a little bit of health scaling, but it's not going to matter. Probably would have done like 250. You got all the hits. That's weird. That's weird. It's, if you you're must, crouching, it'll only... You must be the master of getting all the hits. It also depends on the spacing. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Thank you, Capcom. Yeah. Um, so, that Tatsu pretty much speaks for itself. EX Tatsu operates the same as Ryu's, and just for a recap, a recap for the how to play Ryu video that I never made, mm -hmm. um, if you do EX Tatsu in corners, it creates a juggle state in which you can juggle with anything that juggles, um, including ultras. Both ultras for Oni work there, uppercut works there. I didn't even try to do ultra. I made it sound like I was trying to do ultra. Uh, but medium, medium, medium Tatsu is highest damage. That nice. Work if you do nice it juggle. Enough. It will work if you had to do a fast stop. <laughs> I never see that. I never see anyone do that with Oni. It does less damage than just straight up. Oh well, fucking like, that's why. Whatever. It looks cool though. It's for, it's for Campbell videos. Unfortunately, Oni has a lot less time to do this than Ryu does, which is kind of frustrating. I think it does a lot more damage, though, in my opinion. In your opinion, it does more damage. In my opinion. Yeah. What does what does that mean? In my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion. I have no idea if it does more damage or not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Ryu's all just pretty good. It's 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 frustratingly hard compared to Ryu's though. You have to hit it pretty high. You probably have about three frames to do it, which is uh, yeah. annoying because Ryu has like an, a week. It it's about as hard to do Ryu's EX Fireball Ultra as it is to do Oni's EX Tatsu Ultra. Of course, you get more time to buffer, so that's nice. Um, let me think here. But it's also it's also immune to stand teching after a certain point in the animation, and it's immune to lows mm -hmm. after a certain point in the animation. And because of that, like let's say I was doing like a uh, be ready to defend. Let's say I was going to do like a... Uh, let's say that was my setup. Oh, nice. You already had the defense. You were already trying to perfect defend. Um, <laughs> let's say I did something like this. That would actually... Yeah, I, I did... Do it I, there. I did... Oh. <laughs> um, this would actually catch the opponent uh, blocking or stand teching. Uh, I, or, I mean, not blocking. It would. I'm trying to remove myself. Oh, God. I don't need to block. Uh, whatever. Ooh. Um, if they're doing stand techs or oh, or stand -tex yeah, so if they're doing stand techs or crouch techs. Um, it'll actually beat their stand tech or crouch tech. So um, uh, it's it's a really easy frame trap, and it's also safe. So um, it's basically it's like baby's introduction to frame traps, and I don't mean like anyone who uses it as a baby because it's really good. I use it all the time, but just like <laughs> it's it's really easy. Um, There's some really weird stuff with the X Tatsu if you use it on like Abel. Like Abel's the only character I've used it on so far. But if you get some like really long combos, sometimes like he'll get vortex it, on the other side and then he'll block it. Yeah, I've had that's yeah, that used to be really common in old versions, but now it's mostly been removed from the game. But there's still a couple times, a couple scenarios yeah. where if you get particular ranges, they like timed it out so that if you do on most characters, if you do bread and butter combos, it works properly. Mm -hmm. And this is, um, I think this is this is the strongest single special move you can do on a crouching opponent. So like Oni and Shotos in general, yeah. um, lose a lot of options yeah. on crouching opponents, but that does quite a lot of damage even on crouch. And um, the other options are not um, uh, as good. Also, Kuretsuki, yes, that was Plucky who yelled yesterday. Um, what was I going to say about EX Tatsu? Uh, it's not much more to it. It's just a, it's just a high damage, hits lows, uh, leads does the to... Does the same damage as hard. Oh, does it? Is it 160 still? Tatsu, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, well, okay. Well, it's high damage by merit of its follow-ups then. Higher damage in corners. Um, 
air tattoos, I guess, are sort of notable mm -hmm. now. Uh, there is some damage dissonance in his air tattoos. The light one is the middle, the medium one is the weakest, and the hard one is the strongest. It's kind of weird that it's set up like that. I've noticed that it seems to be easier to get follow-ups off of the medium one than the hard one. But apart from that, they all seem pretty functionally similar. Yeah, we'll get to that. Um, so, I don't know. They The EX1 changes his air trajectory, but that's less useful for him than the other Shadows because he has Jetpack, and Jetpack does the same thing meterless. So, um, usually you prefer to do that. Uh... But you can do cross-up tattoos, and that's really important. Shoto 101. If you're fighting someone, okay, I'm a Shoto, okay? I'm, like, this far away from you. This is not cross-up range. If I jump, I will not cross-up. But if I jump from this same range, most people, when they look for cross-ups, they look for where the opponent started from. If I start from here and I go for a cross-up tattoo, um, if I go for a tattoo, it'll cross-up and hit from the back. And most, most Shotos get a follow-up, and Oni's follow-ups are kind of hard to get, but they are there. You can follow up with... Um, Air Demon is the best one, but it's kind of hard. And then you also have um, uh, Medium Tattoo. Uh, does the second highest oh. damage, I think. And it's... Um, yeah, we'll talk about... Oh, I didn't... I um, I should yeah. mention that now rather than later. Back Medium Punch is one of his normals that has uh, juggle potential. And that's actually... Yeah, this is like the perfect time to talk about it. Um, that's not super useful. It gets a reset. But you can reset into some pretty cool things. This isn't... I don't know about the resets from here. I mean, I'm sure you can do stuff. You maybe do like that. <laughs> oh. But, um... That's... Uh, the hard one's I think safe. better to do the EX version of uh, the stomp. Yeah, yeah, probably. So it actually hits overhead. Yeah. Um... Let me... Uh... You can do like this. This is pretty useful. You can juggle into back strong here. And then, depending on your timing... It's kind of hard. I'll see if I can get both. You can get a, you can get a cross fake, up. you can no, you can get a fake cross up slash or a, a real cross up cross slash. Up. I was I was trying to do the fake cross up. You gotta hit this kind of late. It's dirty. I that got the real. So dirty. I got the real cross up. <laughs> the fake cross up is pretty hard to get. You gotta hit them. You gotta hit them like after they're already scooting away. Can I just mash throw. Yeah. Um, that one I did deliberately late. I don't think All you right. can normally mash though. But I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a really fake cross up. I mean a, a really fake. Dude, come on! Don't go to test them. <laughs> Sorry. You can You you could mash on on this specific. I'm trying. I should get it later, and then I should uh, do it immediately. But that's hard. Yeah, as long as they don't mash, it's dirty. <laughs> Damn it! I've done this, but it's not. I don't think this is this specific thing is super useful. But it is there, and it is a uh, there is a mm -hmm. a left right mix up going on theoretically. But you could Can we talk about how uh, medium Tatsu is like really good on FADC or just focus attack, like in general? How do you mean? Oh yeah, um, you do that. that's um. Normally. There's some there's some weird stuff about that. That's worth mentioning, yeah. and I should have mentioned it sooner. Um, normally it's you can combo out of it, which is neat. Um, you can actually combo out of all of them into focus attack, but uh, for level two focus attack. for some reason I don't think it's an accident. Uh, on a crouching opponent, medium gets a bunch extra hit stun on its first hit, and normally that doesn't matter at all. But on FADC, you get completely retarded amounts of uh, uh, frame advantage on FADC, and I just fucked it up. That would have worked on any of them. This is quite hard executionally. That works on a crouching opponent, and I fucked it up. It's pretty tight, <laughs> but it does work. That was. Mm. I've got like a fucking sick guitar face right now. Worked. There you yeah. go. Holy shit. <laughs> so I you didn't can. Even know that worked. Yeah, yeah, surprise. Yeah. Um, I don't know how fast that ultra is. Probably somewhere in the realm of nine frames, maybe ten. Uh, I don't feel like scrolling down. <laughs> uh, zero plus nine, yeah. All right, cool. Um. So that's just an emphasis on how good it is. Theoretically, you can use that one for opponents who are crouching after your combos. Like if you react to the fact that they're crouching in your combos, you can do that. I think they force stand too, actually. Here, uh, crouch. Yeah, they force stand. So that's one of his force stand options, which is a bit weird to think about. But you can do combos into the first hit of Tatsu and then uh, you know go for your your target combo twos. Um, so that's there. 
But it, the other, the main, the, the theoretical high-level purpose of it is to blow up people who are crouch teching. So use an FADC to get a really high damage on a crouch, crouch tech. Close stand, hard kick is red focus cancelable. That's a uh, second hit only. You. That's second hit only, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's first hit. I mean, first hit only. That's what I meant. Yeah. Uh, that's not super useful, honestly. That's no. um, you'd rather use towards fierce or light slash, depending on what the scenario is. Probably well, I usually. Guess you could combo into it from this, but like, really, why? <laughs> yeah, it's n honestly, yeah, it's completely outclassed by um, something like that. Mm. Or more realistically, something like uh, that would theoretically work. I think that works. I think that's a combo. Definitely stand jab, stand fierce. I think it's stand, stand, stand work. Stand jab, stand fierce. Yeah. yeah. Um. So not, it's not, it's not super notable, but it is there. Um. But we'll talk about our sort of red focus combos in a second. Um. What's the next move? He's got a lot of special moves. We did, we did tatsus, we did these, we did, we did uppercut. Uh, yeah, we did like the do, basic. Do that or slash. Let's do, let's do stomp. Stomp's more basic. Um. Stomp basically, there's a hard one, which is whoa. Really, what's happening? I'm doing DP motions. Uh, th there's a hard one that has a very surprising range. I think it's two hits up close. No, still one. No. The the but it's safe. The ground pound, the far connect does less damage than the point blank connect, unfortunately. I think it's safe on block. Yeah, the hard one is safe. the The lower the version, the more unsafe it is. Um. The hard one, the hard one. They all punish stand techs. But only like the light one and like a predictive medium one are fast enough to punish crouch decks. But basically, you can use these as really good um, punish it as really good frame trap options. They can get counter hit. It looks like he kind of just shoots up and shoots down. They're not invincible. They're good for reset options too. Yeah, they're really good for reset options. Um, and you can actually combo into them quite easily. That's a combo. It looked like it didn't combo, but it was two hits. <laughs> that one is. Uh, I don't. I, I don't think you can. Yeah. The EX one is combo immune, yeah. but um, you can do like uh, it, it does pretty high damage, so you can do it like after um, after like a uh, focus, which I just completely missed. Um, and you can do like well, you can do uppercut there, so that would be better actually. Well, whatever. Um, and you can do them after FADCs. They have juggle potential. I think the medium one is usually the one that you want, and d dashed under you. Or, I mean, yeah. Capcom, there you go. Um, so that that ends combos with a nice knockdown, but it's not worth the two bars. And you get a pretty good setup after that too, because you can backdash and then get yeah, a jump. Cross over knockdown. Yeah, but uh, in terms of in terms of meter to damage ratio, it's pretty bad. Usually, only one FADC or sure you can if you uh, if you're if you don't know if they're going to be safe or if you're trying to land an ultra. Um, let me see here. Uh, but the light one is so fast that you can actually the light one's pretty unsafe. The light one is so fast, you can really easily punish uh, Crouch and Stantex with it. Like, I could do, like, um, something like that. That's really good. That blows up some characters. That's basically essential to his offense game against uh, really turtly characters. His A lot of his other... A lot of Oni's offense is, unfortunately, really unsafe. So, um, uh, it's important to play the mix-up really hard. Like, all his slashes are unsafe against... Uh, I shouldn't say all, but, like, most of his slashes are really unsafe against uh, most of the characters. All slashes are unsafe against Zangief. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, what about Stomp? EX is actually overhead. The rest just kind of look like they might be overhead. Um, EX is two hits. But yeah, and EX does extra damage. And actually, these uh, you can FADC them for safety, which is something that they have really tiny FADC windows. It's actually what what's happening? It's actually really hard to get the FA. There, I did it. Oh. <laughs> it's really hard to get the FADC there. So a lot of people don't know you can FADC it. And theoretically, you can um, super cancel that too, but you wouldn't. But you can. Like if you did it on a focusing opponent, you'd super. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of a funny scenario, but once again, this is a really tiny window. Ah, I can't get it. It's hard. It's real hard. Oh well. I've done it before, so I know it works. Um, might be easier with different versions of the move. I was doing light every time. I don't know if the windows are all the same. You might be able to FADC this on whiff. Oh, that might be Thunderbolt. I don't remember. Not having any success. 
I don't know why I keep on getting accidental slashes. Hey, the demon. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, neat. Anyway, uh, let's slash in a nutshell. I don't. I mean, stomp in a nutshell. I don't think that does anything else of note, but I'm not certain. I think the medium one is safe-ish. I think the medium one balances speed and safety pretty well, so I think the medium it's one is usually... It's minus six. Oh. It's minus seven, so they're both Oh, the in that case, fucking pretty much yeah. the same. Is the damage the same? Probably medium slightly higher. Uh, light's a little bit more damage. Actually, light does more. Wow. Yeah, it does 30 You, more you pay for that, you get that one additional minus ram, but you do all that extra damage. I yeah. do I do light most of the time then, I guess. I think medium goes farther too, so... If yeah, okay, that's, that's pretty useful. Combo. Yeah. And I don't think light works in FADC combos. No. So, yeah, medium medium there. There you go. That's why. That's the damage dissonance. Because medium is for combos. Um, okay, so Slash. Slash is actually four different special moves. Cleverly disguised as one special move. Uh, and by that I mean they all have four very different purposes. Um, well, I shouldn't say four very different. The medium and hard one are for the same purpose, and it's for fucking with your opponent. Um, there are ranges where... You can do medium and it'll hit from the front, or hard and it'll hit from behind. Well, that's actually a hard that hit from the front, so that was kind of cool. Um, and it's possible to do a very specific block where you're blocking down back and then you start blocking down forward to hit the cross up. And that's how you actually punish it. And they're both really unsafe. So um, that's the. You can just kill his mix up like this, but it. it uh, people who don't play Oni very often, against Oni very often, get really fucked up by this. Oh, nice. Oh, got ya. It's quite hard. The medium one actually has a pretty significant amount of fireball invincibility, which uh, a lot of people don't know about. So you can oh, use that to go through fireballs. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's not, you can't, it's, it doesn't start immediately. So you have to yeah. predict the fireball. It's like, a, it's like, it's basically, it's basically Goken's Senku Goshoha. Basically the medium version of that. It, That's good. So it's not useless, but the fireball the fireball invincibility window is actually pretty short. Like, you can get kind of hit by fireballs for most of it, and then if, you, if you're too far out, it'll just whiff, so you're punishable. So it's actually pretty hard to use this move effectively. <clears throat> um, I don't think the medium slash has any other purposes. I'm trying to think. Um, all the slashes knock down except the light one, so you can't do any sort of focus nonsense. Medium does more stun than hard, I believe. That's neat. Let's actually look at all their stun just to make sure there isn't one that does an insane amount of dizzy for some reason. Light does 150. Medium does 200. And then... Oh, I might be looking at the wrong moves. Oh, fuck. I got it towards Ren House. Oh, no, not that. And, uh... Hard is 150 again. So medium does do the most dizzy. Which is cool, I guess. Um... EX creates... Juggle potential stuff. Uh, launch day. It ex always crosses up unless you're, I think, absolutely like full screen. And then it hits on the front. Yeah. Um. On counter hit, it launches higher than on non counter hit, which is more frustrating than useful. It, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can get ultra follow ups regardless, and you can just react to the difference. So it's pretty much like a, do like a hot, slow normal. Do like sand fears. Yeah. So you can do like a, you can do different follow ups. The classy one that always impresses people is uh this one. Ah, got it out too fast. Oh, Still too fast. Oh, you need a slower normal. Maybe a step kick? I don't know. Oh, that's that's it moved you. Oh, fucked it up. That was cool though. I'm happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucked it up. I was too oh. slow. I was too slow. But that works. And it's pretty, it's pretty swaggy. But it doesn't do any more damage than just Ultra by itself. So, um, yeah. so have fun with that. <laughs> so yeah, you can... Um, this is actually very rewarding to land. It's very unsafe, unfortunately. And there's no mix-up. Whenever you see the yellow, you, it's always going to hit a cross-up. So, um, unless you're like... Yeah, unless, unless you're at a super far range. Oh, okay. So I, 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 dashed, <laughs> I dashed forward. Um, yeah. So uh, basically... This is basic. This is really useful for resets. All the hard one is really useful for resets too, because you can just be going for. Um, what kind of combo is that? Hold on. Yeah. Okay. I got this. Uh, I'm fucking up my only combos pretty bad. Uh, I'm going for too high damage. Let me just do something easy. Let me let me just do something easy. 
And I did Light Slash again. You can end with uh, Hard Slash and Surprise People. Yeah. Or even EX Slash and Surprise People. That's what I'm trying to get out here. Um, and it EX... Just hear that uh, an air hit of Light will give you free juggle. Oh yeah, it does. I can confirm. That's There are a couple scenarios to set that up, and it's kind of stupid. But I'll talk about them. It's very difficult to get this in an air connect most of the time. But the times, it's for backdashes, not for jumping. Oh, true. So um, the idea is if you do like a, if you get a knockdown, why did I do forward throw? If you get a knockdown and the opponent does a wake up uh, backdash and you light slash it, which I actually got it perfectly there and I wasn't even ready, you can do juggles and stuff. So that's kind of cool. My entire shoulder's gone, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so that's, that's actually a really useful tool he has to punish uh, backdashes really hard. Um, but you have to know the opponent's going to be backdashing, because that's not super useful in and of itself. It's kind of risky. Um, on some characters, you can do Ultra 2. And that gets a full Ultra 2, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah. um, not that good. Anyway. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can FADC that uppercut, too. You could do the two hits yeah. of uppercut and then FADC Ultra. So, you know, pretty pretty rewarding. Um, let's see here. Uh, the Light Slash, I get No, EX Slash. Fucking follow-ups. You can do the um, medium tatsu. It's the general follow-up. Uh, you can do the forward roundhouse for the corner carry. That's what most people do, but I feel like most people don't know about the medium tatsu because medium tatsu does 30 more damage. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can do uh, ultra one or ultra two, and they both work. And that does quite a lot of damage. Unfortunately, on some characters, it's really easy to fuck up that timing. You should always be ready to ultra if it works. You have to do the ultra motion yeah, really. Actually. You have to, you have to, yeah, that's not super rewarding. Yeah. It's really hard to get all the hits of Ultra 2 in this scenario. I think on Max, if you get a counter hit. yeah, on Max Connect, you can get like, um, oh shit, it lagged. Stop, if you're alt-tabbing. It's, Ultra 2 has really pretty quick startup for an Ultra. Damn, headset, okay, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, cool. Ah, oh, that was close. That was almost it. That was almost max hits. Almost max hits is no hits. <laughs> the sad state of Oni. That's gonna be some. It's not gonna be all of them. It's really hard to get the max payoff for that. That was seven. My first attempt was six. I got the counter hit! No! Look at this! Beautiful! This is one of the setups where uh, Ultra 1 is a lot superior. That was too low. Ultra 2 does su start up surprisingly fast. I think it's faster than Ultra 1, but I don't remember. I feel like you can get 8, and maybe even 9, but I'm having a lot of trouble getting either of those. So, I'm not sure. <laughs> Fuck. That was disappointing. Looked like I should have hit. <laughs> well, whatever. Um, Light Slash is... Uh, MK Tatsu goes into Ultra of the first and third hit. I think only in the corner. In the corner? The entire ultra. Yeah. Actually, some characters will get hit by Tatsu differently. So, uh, like on like uh, Balrog, the la the third hit whiffs and then the fourth fourth hit connects or something like that. So you can do like uh, you can do Air Demon or like an EX Tatsu or like really weird follow ups. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, let me see here. Light slash is uh, the main we didn't slash. Really talk about light slash. Yeah, I was gonna say I deliberately left it for last because it's sort of the uh, the really really useful one. Um, light slash is actually safe and safe with finger quotes that no one can see because it's um, mm -hmm. minus three, a uh, minus two. Two. Okay. Yeah. So um, that's uh. It's green, really? Okay. That's um, that's pretty useful. That's pretty useful. You can do um you can end combos with it for the for the um for the yeah. You can end combos with it safely for the chip damage and stuff. And then you can um it doesn't do the most damage of any of his special moves. Um Oh, hold on. Wait, hold on, really? Yeah, you should try that out. <gasps> that looks good. That was it. Oh fuck. Damn, that's hard to get. Oh fuck, dude! You're killing me. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hell of a time landing this. I don't even. I don't even know if that does more damage. That's gotta be a window of only a couple frames. 
fuck me. First and third hit. Oh, oh fuck. I think it's too low. <laughs> well, theoretically that works. Anyway, Light Slash. Um, it does really high damage and Dizzy, and you can FADC it. And on FADC, it's like... Uh, it's like plus six, give or take. Give or take one frame. Yeah. So, um... You can do out of it. You can do low strong. You can do back strong. You can do jabs if you want a nice easy combo, but the jabs kind of lower the damage. You can I do crouch fears. Yeah, crouch fears. Um, you can do you can do you can do a lot of things out of a light light stomp. F I mean a light slash FADC, and that makes his FADC combos really powerful. Like you can do like just as a bread and butter. Like um, that's not really bread and butter, is it? That's a drop. Oh fuck. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> some 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 day. Let me have a couple goes with it, I'm sure I'll get it. Uh let me do stand fierce. Uh I go. didn't I didn't end with the right follow up, but I did four seventy two damage right. with that. <laughs> so that's uh that's super rewarding. That's super rewarding. It really hurts to get hit by a single FADC combo. That's two bars, no ultra. Like, most characters can't hit that with two bars and ultra. Um, granted, it was a jumping combo that I did. But it makes Oni's damage really, really high. Oni always wants to go into these. Like, even if, even if you're, even if they're, like, even if it's a kind of scaled combo. Those are super powerful. That was two bars for 300, which isn't that good, but like, you know, for a confirmed combo, it's not bad. Why am I not getting these? They're hard. Jeez. Uh. And then, uh, if you do the, if you do the, no matter the range, if you do the back strong stand fierce into light uh, slash, it will always connect at a range where red focus will combo. And I don't think Light Slash inherently will always do that. I think the range is where it whiffs. That looked like it would have whiffed on other characters. <laughs> but uh, this combo, I don't know what it is, but something about that combo puts you into the opponent probably. Like inside them. And then the Light Slash gets like a good enough connect that it'll combo into Red Focus. So you Looks can like it has a bit of momentum. Yeah. So Red Focus combos on Oni. I already mentioned that EX Fireball FADC does more damage, but Red Focus combos are dramatically easier. And they'll get you a full Connect Ultra 2, which is sort of the uh, end-all be-all of playing Oni is trying to land that. Uh, and all, uh, uh, a full Connect Ultra 2 does, uh, I think, 525 damage, which is one of... I think it's the highest of any Ultra in the game, not counting, mm. like, Oil or Makoto Super. I think that the next highest is Oni Ultra 2. So that's pretty good. It's worth landing. Um... I don't remember what Geef Ultra 1 is. It's probably somewhere in the 520, 510, 515. Uh, so a lot of bread and butter combos with Oni are just like um, land land that uh, that light slash somehow and then combo an Ultra 2. And that ends up doing a ton of damage. I didn't even have the best setup. I'd like a confirmed combo setup. And that's, ha that's double Ultra and it was 432. If you just did like a combo like this, something really short. Once again, Double Ultra is going to be subtracting a lot of damage from this combo. Into the face of death. That did 509. That's with Double Ultra. That's like damage of a normal Ultra combo. Granted, two bar—I mean, three bars. So um, you know the price. Price you pay is what you get. Mm -hmm. um, and mm. a lot of the time, you'll see combos like this. I dropped it, but you'll see combos like that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Need like two FADCs in a single combo, just at wow. Nice fireball. Yeah, I did it with the timing of the up one. You used to be able to do it. I didn't even talk about. Well, we haven't even gone to his ultras yet. But um, uh, he's got the two different ultras for ultra one. Three different ultras for ultra one, uh, where he can shoot it forward or up or down and towards. Anyway, um, they used to do different damage, like. Now they do the same damage. Ultra t Ultra 1 up theoretically does a lot of damage, but you can't possibly get all the hits of it. I don't think you can possibly get all the hits of it. I think normal Ultra <laughs> 1 got buffed and Ultra 2. Yeah, yeah. Or not ult yeah, ult yeah, yeah. Nor the forward Ultra got buffed, so now they do the same damage in combos. I was reading 29, and this is going to be... 
309. Wait, hold on. What was my setup? I think I did a different up version of the uppercut. I think I did hard uppercut. So this should do 309 if they're the same damage, which it did. It looks like it's losing a bunch of hits. Try just jumping. I've never seen this get the full connect. I'm like curious. There it goes. <laughs> so yeah, the the full connect theoretically does more damage, but none of the setups that it he has, has less struggle potential by the looks of it. Yeah, it has it has less. You can um you can in in scenarios like this, I think on some characters you can get the up ultra and it'll lose one hit, but the forward ultra will get the full connect. I think, I think that's how in like JP one scenarios. But I think Akuma is not one of the or Oni is not one of the characters where you can do up ultra there. Try a uh, neutral jump, and I'll get a light one hit of light uppercut. Ashes to ashes. Oh, I got a full connect. Oh. There you go. So they both work fully in JP1, and they both start losing hits in JP2. So I guess they have the same juggle potential. Well, whatever. Anyway, um, we're not even talking about his Ultra 1 yet. Where were we? We've got like a bunch of Light Slash, I guess. We already pretty much talked about that. <laughs> um, the juggle. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, his jetpack, I guess. This is a really weird move. Theoretically, it's really good to be able to change your juggle, your air, your air trajectory in Street Fighter 4. Oni's an anime fighter now. Yeah, but um, Oni unfortunately is has very stiff movements with this thing, so it's less useful than you would think. But it is quite useful. Um, basically, there's three different versions, and they all are useful for different things. There's no EX one. There was an EX one in development, but they took it out, which is kind of a shame. It's in the PC code. It goes, um, I, I, there's, a, there's an EX one that goes down, and there's uh, an EX one that goes up, I think. And they're both in the code. It'd be really cool if you had one that goes down. He could just, like, jump and then jetpack down and then fucking throw you out of your throw attack or something. How cool would that be? It'd be broken, though. Um, Absolutely broken. Anyway, the hard jetpack is mostly for baiting reversals. If you're fighting, for example, a Sagat who is, instead of doing anti-air Stam Roundhouse, he's doing anti-air uh, uppercut. You could do like this, and then um, jetpack. And if he tiger uppercutted you, you could actually get a punish. Or like characters with really long commit anti-airs, which is not many of them. Um, and yeah, if you actually see the uppercut, you can... If, even if it's a tiny uppercut, even if it's like a jab DP, like a strong DP, um, you can you can uh, air demon on reaction to an actual anti-air. And um, even if you get the jetpack to connect, air demon still works. So, oh fuck, you did it a little too late. I thought that was going to work. Whoa, that slammed! Caught my back dash. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, jump. Ah. That'll usually work. If you do it fast enough, it'll work. But the question is doing it fast enough versus uh, doing it um, uh, on reaction to them doing something. Yes, this is a guide mm -hmm. to learning, Oni. Uh, of course, they all move you around in different directions, which is inherently useful for you know, if you want to go in a certain direction really badly all of a sudden. For example, if I jumped in on a Hakan and he did Ultra 2, I'd be like, oh shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> not Hakan, not now. Um, so they're really useful for just altering your jump trajectory. Usually you want the back one, but the forward one can be really useful too. If you just don't want to land on something. Like if it was like Able Ultra 2 or something. No one runs Able Ultra 2. I haven't seen that in like three three versions of the game. I miss it. It was fun. I miss Brainless. Um, yeah, hold on. The forward one... On paper, doesn't seem that useful, but the thing about the forward one is that um, uh, it changes after following his jetpack. His Tatsu trajectory changes. Like normally, his uh, Tatsu just holds him in place or does like a kind of slow fall. But if you do it after a jetpack, his Tatsu, his EX Tatsu falls, and his regular Tatsu falls, but a little differently than normal. So you, you can, can do all the damage in one hit. Yeah, yeah. Hits. So. Um, you can do like a. Uh, it's really it's really weird. You can and you can make really ambiguous cross ups out of it. Like you, this will look. That probably. I have no idea which side that hit on. <laughs> I didn't try blocking it, so. Oh god. <laughs> it's really good for ambiguous cross ups. <laughs> I tend to get hit by these. You can just anti air them theoretically. Oh. But um. They can make, if he just jetpacks and you like try to uppercut it, your uppercut might whiff under him, for example. So it's got a little, it's got some pretty, um, it's got some pretty, can you punish fireballs with jetpack Tatsu? Yeah, actually. It's n it's kind of hard to do. Um, but if you jump at the same time that they, they throw a fireball from outside their anti-air range, 
you can do like a jetpack and jetpack Tatsu and hit the fireball. That's not useless, but it's kind of hard to land in a real match. Um, what else about jetpack? It does actually have connects, as we've shown. Um, I think on some characters you can get up jetpack into Tatsu and like have it either the first hit not cross up and the second hit cross up. Or something like that. I don't remember. There's some... Here in the corner. There's some stuff you can do on some characters. That was weird. Um, I don't think I don't think it actually combos on anyone. I think there's some mix-up no. potential there. Um, the light one I think has a hitbox, but it's like impossible to hit someone with. I don't know if the light one has a hitbox. The the hard one is really easy to hitbox to hit people with, so it's actually a decent air there. Um, and you can of course super cancel it. And if you bait light up, has a hitbox, by the way. okay, cool. Do um do like it's an anti hard. do an anti air uppercut. You ready? There you go. You do that. That's not that hard. A lot of people freak out and they're like, wow, that's so cool, but it's actually not that hard. All you do is every single time you do the jetpack, you do like most of the super motion. And then if you ever see the uppercut, you're like, okay, let me hit the hard punch. Um, Does medium jetpack hit on the same side in the color corner every time? I have no idea. So I, I feel like that would be a good, like, interesting situation for a cross up. I mean, in theory. Especially if you do EX after. I blocked uh, both of those uh, non cross up. But of course, that was a jump in that would have been a cross up, so that's pretty useful. But then again, I've got I blocked that like a I blocked that. That was I think I, I think either way I blocked that would have worked. Oh no, that hit on the front. Well, whatever. <laughs> from from the jetpack, you could only block. You could only yeah. uh, you could only you could always jet block towards the corner. Minus on hit, right? It I have no idea. I mean, I imagine it is. I would yeah. never just jump in with I it. I feel like canceling into tattoo would make it safer. Probably. No matter what. There's no reason. I mean, even even if it even if the tattoo whiffs, you might as well use it to build some bar, right? <laughs> yeah. Can you can you hard tattoo? I mean, hard jetpack tattoo. It looks like no. That doesn't work at all. No. Kind of sad. So there, that's another move that's like three different special moves. Medium jetpack also lifts people up from focus ground pole into air demon for troll strats. Oh yeah, you can do that. I forgot about that. That is that is troll. You can do that, <laughs> and then air demon. It's kind of hard. Air demon into hard slash after. I think this works. I feel like I've seen this. You can't do like an instant air one, can you? I don't know. <laughs> I think instant air would defeat the purpose because they'd be up by the time you hit the ground. Yeah. Well, whatever. MP Red Fireball Air Demon. It's off. Uh, hard Fireball does the most damage, I think. Wait, hold on. Let me test. That was 120. That was 90. Yeah, hard, hard Red Fireball into Air Demon. It's optimal. Um. Anyway. Oh, so like. Uh. <laughs> let's jetpack down. I feel like we're still missing a couple special moves. Have we done them all? I always feel like that whenever I watch these videos. But Let's see here. Seems to be very Go Hadoken. We did that. Go Rai. Hadoken. We did that. Zenku Hadosho. Yeah. That's the jetpack. Go Shoryu. Tatsumaki. Erish Tatsumaki. Stomp and Slash. Yeah, we hit them all. I think we did the EX versions of all of them, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, super Ultras. Super, super Ultras. Everything. Let me take a look at his unique attacks for a second here. No, we did all three of those. No air throw or anything. Alright, cool. So, Super Ultra's uh, stuff. Um, oh yeah, I didn't... Oh yeah, hold on, time out. Red, uh, level 3 focus is a longer crumple than level 2 focus. So, maybe that's the difference. There's a height restriction here. You can't do it if you fall too far. That looked good. If that's not working, I don't know what is. I'm trying different timings and everything. Well, whatever. Well, whatever. So, uh, super. The thing about demons, if you don't already know about demons, um, any move, any normal during any frame of its animation can be cancelled to demon. So that means, like, super cancels are not even a thing. Like, anything is a super cancel. Um, and that's true for all three super demons. It's it's actually true for Akuma's Ultra 1 as well. It's true for every demon. 
Uh, and demons are one frame, which means that you can actually use them as reversals, like true as true true uh, throw ultras, like uh, Sengi Ultra One and stuff. And that has a lot of shock value because people typically forget that exists. Like, let's say I did like a back throw and then I went for like overhead or something. You can literally wake up demon, and it'll um, it's a it's a it, it's a true one frame reversal. I bet I could get it first try. Him. <laughs> Try me. I can do it offline, I swear. Oh, That's forward throw. throw. Yeah. <laughs> I could have done it right there if I really cared. I fucked it up. <laughs> the pressure was too high. There you go. Um, so, I feel like it's worth mentioning that other Super Demons both do 350, but Oni's is special and does 370. Oni has the highest damage Super Demon in the game. I feel like it's worth mentioning that Oni is special. Um... What else about demon? Uh, ground demon, you can use it. They're um, okay. Let me let me cover the bases. If you're fighting an opponent who's focusing, for example, you can um, save yourself with a demon if you're in a bad scenario with a normal, which happens decently often. Like that that goes sweep sweep goes from being a move that's highly vulnerable to focus to being like a counter to focus if you have super. That goes to something that you want to do. Um. Uh, what else? Uh, you can you can use it on like unsafe things. Like that's another thing. Here, let's say you're down backing, and uh, you block a sweep. You want to do like probably like a low forward, right? Whoa, whoa hold on, hold on. We'll get to <laughs> super as a punish in a second. You probably want to do like a low forward to hit me out of my recovery. Give that a go. Yeah. See if you can hit the timing. Okay. There you go. That's a punish. Whoa. Die. So you can use it to bait people into. Um, commits in fake fake punish scenarios because it's not really a punish because I still have an option that beats the attempted punish. So that's kind of cool and kind of useful. Um, it Unfortunately, it's a lot of meter to bet on it. But, um, so, like, you usually see stuff like that from Akuma and not Oni because he's got an ultra and he always has that so he might as well fuck around with it. Um, what else? Because it is a one-frame throw... It can grab if if it activates point blank on an opponent who's not in block stun, they can't jump out of it. And so, trying to find ways to do this absolutely stupid motion um, while you're next to the opponent while they're not in block stun is part of being a good Oni player, unfortunately. And just as some go-to's, I think um, step kick is slightly slightly minus on block. So after a step kick, you can demon and catch people unawares. And these come out faster than a throw tech will, so you can catch people who are just holding back and teching throws. And after like a light slash, for example, I think you're, um, especially on block, you can time it even on hit, but on block, you can just do an Im like a, basically an immediate demon, I think. Uh, I'm doing it too, I'm buffering the motion too early. Whoa, don't hold up. Oh yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> Ooh. Re I realized I was holding forward during the motion, and that's that was too early. I think it looked like you'd already jumped. Don't already jump, dude. You're ruining it. That's the way out. Whatever. You can do it after a light slash. Um, you can do it after. I already tried to show it, but you can do it after. Um, you can do it after some normals, and I fucked it up. I was trying. I I always try to. I was trying to. I'm always trying to. I'm always trying to. Whoa. Sick reset. I'm always. Trying to buffer my jabs. Overhead demon is the one. Is the 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 the. Let me let me do some of my evil ones, okay? You can do um down towards jab or even jab jab or anything, and then you can do uh for your demon forward. You can do like from down forward to forward counts as a forward motion for the demon, and that can you can do that during a walk in, and then you can get like a surprise like a uh, walk in demon. So it'll end up looking something like this. I do this all the time, and it works almost all the time. Nice blocking. Um, it's laggy as hell right now. It's just lagging, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just want to do my setups. Oh, oh my god. god, please. I'll close everything. Just give me a second. <laughs> it won't even help. Actually, it's... Oh, fuck. It was good for a second. I do, I do have... I do have some software open, so I'll close that. Okay. Well, I'm streaming, so that's probably slowing us down a lot. Um, alright, whatever. Here we go. Oh, it looks fine now. Yeah, it actually <laughs> does look a lot better. The, unfortunately, the amount of timing you have to do for this is based on how close the jabs are, believe it or not. 
fucking it up. I feel like this is different timing for different. If it seems like it should yeah, be the same timing, but like I, I feel like it actually is different timing. It looks like that if you do it right. I've literally like no one ever gets out of that. I do that all the time, and I keep on fucking it up now. All right, I got this. Damn it, dude. With evil ears, I never, I never miss this. <laughs> nice block strings. I was trying to do it after two jabs. After one jab, it's not too bad. But I couldn't seem to get it after two jabs. Oh, there it is. That works quite reliably. And once again, it is a one-frame startup, so you can punish um, any move that's minus. Literally any move that's minus, as long as you can grab pretty early. This would be a good example of a move that's normally safe that you can get a big punish on. Caught me. I think Oni's demon has a little bit of invincibility too. It's somewhere like three frames. Um, most demons, every one frame move is by definition invincible, but um, most demons only have the single frame. But I think Oni has a very tiny amount of invincibility just so he can travel. Um, let me see here. The air demon is a completely different beast because you can actually confirm it. The first, the apart from focus attacks, there's no confirms into super demon, but. Um, uh, Air Demon, you can combo into. Unfortunately, you can't throw FADCs into the mix, because that's six bars. But um, any scenario where you get a juggled opponent that you can have full meter, you can do uh, Air Demon. And I've already shown it off once. God, fuck. I've already shown it off once, but you can do you can do cross-up Tatsu into Air Demon, or even, like, um, uh, juggled, like, Air Air Tatsu into Air Demon. And that's pretty useful, pretty reliable. And then you can also do um, the, the jetpack into demon, be it uh, medium or hard jetpack. You can do the jump strong into demon. Um, you can do an anti air light tots or light uppercut into demon. That's way too far away. <laughs> you can do that uh, hard red fireball into demon. You can do. I'm trying to think. I think you can do do the wake up back dash again. You ready? I think you can do like an air demon here. It's gonna be hard though. But I'm pretty sure like that would work. I'm pretty sure that works. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> yeah. This does have one frame startup, but I do have to get the jump in. And the jump, I have to reach the point of the jump where I'm, uh, uh, where the height restriction for the super isn't applying. Yeah, I hit the ground. Well, I don't know. I know there, I know there's some setups. Oh, uh, focus crumple light slash air demon. Yeah. You can do, um, you can light slash. You can actually do it on forward or back dash, but back dash gives you the perfect spacing that you don't need to time it. But you can time it with the forward dash. So, um, actually, you might not even need to time it. You can just probably do it. No, you do need to time it. But yeah, you can juggle into um, you can juggle into super demon from that. But that once again is weaker than red fireball. But it does work and it is cool. Focus tag, focus tag, air demon. I like the way this guy thinks. <laughs> These are useless, but they're very swaggy. They're very swaggy. Um, and then you can also do... Uh, I don't know. I feel like you can do Focus Crumple uh, on some character, I think. I think you can do Focus Crumple Light Slash into um, Ultra 2. But I don't remember who or when that, that works. But I'm pretty sure that works. And it gets full connect. I know, I've seen it somewhere. It must be like one I frame character specific. A video, combo video for Oni, yeah. <laughs> Just something like that. <laughs> I'm probably forgetting some uh, ultra setups off the top of my head. I mean, some super setups. I don't know why I can't get that. I got the whiff jab. The whiff jab telegraphs it a little bit, but it's not super risky. But it does slow it down as well, which is kind of annoying. Because I can't do the demon until I uh, get the towards my house. Um, maybe I'll make a follow-up video where I just show off that setup, and just to show off the insane range of the demon. But then again, the the whatever the the video I made a long time ago, the uh, the Street Fighter 4 Raging Demon Encyclopedia, that's got all of them, and it's got the, the like the optimal setups of each one. So you can just dig that video up, and then you can just see them all. Um, let me see here. Uh, ultras? Yeah, we haven't even talked about his ultras like at all, except we have. Nice. That's actually useful. <laughs> it seems stupid, right? It is. But you can, um, yeah. if you throw a fireball at the same time as the, as the opponent, and you react to the fact that they're throwing a fireball, you just buffer the motion. You just do the... Okay, the thing about special moves, 
is that you can't cancel any part of their animation into um, Super. So you have to actually hit the FADC windows of the special moves. And of course, Fireball FADCs, and so does Sure You Can. You'd never FADC. You'd never. You can't do that either. Yeah. yeah. It has to be light. Um, so you can do like um, you can do Fireball and then double tap the Light Punch. And then if you see the opponent throwing a Fireball at the same time. Whoa. You can buffer out the uh, super motion. I guess I have to. I have to. Something like that. That was uh, not closer. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Been. No, the sp the range was okay. It's just because you threw your fireball so much before mine. True. Stop throwing them so fast. <laughs> that was two. That would that would have been a good one, but I missed my motion. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Okay, I got this. I got this. No, I don't. Oh, why is this so difficult? If you throw a fireball at the same time as an opponent, you can buffer the you can buffer the demon, and then you can do um, yeah, like that. <laughs> you can catch some with it. That was uh, so fast that I probably couldn't have reacted to that. But you can, there is a timing where you can react with it, and it's not risky to go for. You can just buffer the super on every single fireball, <laughs> and it sounds it sounds annoying, but um, you can catch errant fireballs like that. Stand like kick fireball FADC Ultra One, insanely important ultra combo. I've never even seen that. That's pretty cool if it works. Like that? I've never seen that. All right, let's let's talk about his ultras. Ultra One. Um, it has an animation. If it hits point blank on a grounded opponent, the animation doesn't add that much damage, but it it does. It is stronger than the full anima than the like the juggled animation. But just uh, for the record, that was 340. Let's look at like the non-full animation. That's 284. So that's going to be quite actually. That's going to be like a, probably a hundred damage difference, maybe more. And um, if I wasn't ultra combo double, so it does do quite a lot more damage. But considering the juggles themselves that set the opponent up for ultra do a lot of damage, it ends up being stronger to get the juggled version in most scenarios. Yeah. Um, it's good to note that uh, ultra one is actually pretty safe on block. Yeah, you you have to you have to hold up forward. <laughs> you can jump over it, and uh, there's. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you if you get like a really like yeah. AD attack. And yeah. Yeah. Well, I get, I guess. Yeah. If you if you if you did something like this. If you're bad. If your opponent is bad at the game. Yeah. If your opponent <laughs> is bad at the game. That was too early. <laughs> Some characters, if they don't have bar, you can actually force them to wake up into that. And uh, wow, you delayed standing. You trying to make this harder for me? <laughs> I couldn't even react to that. I'd already altered by the time the technical came up on the screen. <laughs> but a lot of characters are actually forced to block that, which is kind of funny. Um, and even if you did like a wake up, like what 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 would you go for? Like EX uppercut, Azoni? It's like yeah, cool. Uh, like you got out of the um, you got out of the uh, the wake does up this fireball. Have, uh, fireball invincibility. Or it actually does, but not from frame one. I don't from think. Frame one, no. Okay. Not from frame one. But it, it, but I'd never mentioned that. Hold on a second. Hey, I'm recording something, all right? I'm recording something, all right? So, no, I'm sorry. Um, you can do... Uh, yeah, I never mentioned that. That's really important. EX slash, as well as medium slash, is invincible to fireballs. And EX has longer invincibility. Two fireballs. And that's how you're actually supposed to land EX slash, since a good opponent will usually not get hit by EX slash. Um, anyway... Uh, Ultra One, you've got the Air Ultra One, which is very, very, very close to useless. You've got the, um... The only time you can really land Air Ultra One is on a hard jetpack. Like, on an airborne opponent. And then it's not... I did it kind of late. It's not too hard to land there. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Yeah, I think I got it. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, the Air Ultra One is even weaker than the Ground Ultra One, which is, you know, a, a fucking... To kick in. Mm -hmm. it's 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 harder to land. It feels like it should be stronger. You can do a uh, up jet pack. Yeah. Oh nope. Sometimes. It's <laughs> very disappointing for the most part. It doesn't work in any scenario where you'd want it to. So it's 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 like why did they even add it to the game? It's like oh you can change the jump arc with it. Well yeah I can just jet pack. Oh there it was. The light yeah. jet pack hit. <laughs> nice. Couldn't have orchestrated that. Um, uh, the up ultra used to be the highest damage one in juggles. And now it does the same damage as the forward one, so it's usually pointless, unfortunately. It does have anti-air properties, 
it's a lot harder to get after FADCs. You have to do it a lot earlier, and you have to be point blank. Um, it doesn't matter if you're not point blank for the other one. Um, I'm trying to get like a far connect uppercut. <laughs> I'm just getting the one hit. Um, maybe like a, if I hit a poke. Do you like the crush medium kick again? I'm gonna get in range. Oh damn it! Oh, I did the first hit of ADC. What's wrong with me? Yeah, this is a scenario where you probably wouldn't be able to get the uh, up ultra one, but you would be able to get the forward ultra one. Yeah. So that's just an example. Sometimes, sometimes it's impossible. Um, but they do the same damage now, so you'll almost always go for the forward ultra one. What about? Um, I think it does more damage in juggles, just in general. Then Ultra 2. Ultra 2 does dramatically more damage on the ground. What was it? Like 340 for Ultra 1 grounded? It was like, you know, it's yeah. it's going to be a lot more for um, Ultra 2. And it's not too hard to get this grounded connect between uh, Red Focus and bet like Crumples and Punishing combos. Unfortunately, a lot of the other setups are 390. So that's 50 damage at 75%. So that'll be like, I don't know, four thirds of that. Four thirds of 50. Um, what else? Ultra 2 starts up. I feel like Ultra 2 used to be faster than Ultra 1, but I think they sped up Ultra 1. I think it's like faster now. So um, They're both 9 frames, I'm pretty sure. Alright, cool. Um, let me think. You can actually do this, which not a lot of people ever think to do. Uh, that was a negative edge and a pretty bad one. <laughs> uh, I got the release. You can do that. You didn't used to be able to do that. It's kind of cool. Um, so that's there. Uh, Ultra 2. You can get the full connect as an anti-air against any character who can't alter their jump arc. A lot of people never bother to try that. Oni can alter his jump arc. That's going to be good, I think. Try to hit me. There you go. I tried blocking it, so... Tried blocking it. Dude, it was obviously going to anti-air. <laughs> you were way high. You've got to do it when they're way high. I think I got the timing pretty good. Um, but it, it is invincible. They're both invincible, actually. Whoa. And um, uh, Ultra 1 will actually anti-air as well, just as a proof of concept. Uh, you have to do it kind of early. <laughs> I guess it's not too reliable. Um, unfortunately, his Ultra 1 is not Ryu's Ultra 1. And you'll often find yourself wishing it is. Um, what about what else about his ultras? They both, for the most part, work about the same in juggles, and they both have a lot of juggles into them. But um, ultra one is notably stronger in most juggles. You can FADC after medium tattoo on a crouching component into ultra two full cinematic. Ha! I already did that. I already <laughs> mentioned that one. I bet you thought you were cool because you actually knew that. Sanford technology, yeah. Um, let me see here. Uh, I'm trying to think of ultra setups. You got the red focuses, you got the EX Fireball FADC, you've got the regular Fireball FADC that's very character specific. You got the EX Tatsu in the corners, you got the EX Slash anywhere on the screen. You got the Story You Can FADC, which works into both ultras, by the way. I think I was too late there. Is Oni hard to learn? Not really. Oni, there's nothing terribly difficult about Oni. There are some things that are annoying. He's just he's he's not hard to learn, but he's hard to play against other people because of his weird spacing. Un yeah, unfortunately, Oni, um, unfortunately, Oni uh, doesn't have a whole lot of ranged game at all. He's only got the bad fireball and the okay fireball, and I mean they both have their uses. Don't get me wrong. Um, it, it's not like red fireball is even bad. It's just like it's just. It's not not good as a fireball. It's useful for other things that are not fireball related, such as beating normal fireballs. FHP Red Focus Ultra. Oh yeah, that's there. We already talked about that one, but that is a full ultra combo. A pain in the ass to play with lag. He is somewhat combo heavy, or I shouldn't say that. You can play him without combos easily, but the things that make him better than other Shotos are his damage, among other things, and that relies on being able to hit links a lot. And the links aren't terribly hard. His hardest links are two frames. He doesn't have a particularly useful one frame link. Um, oh, I actually got it that time. <laughs> but uh, he's not. He's not. Uh, I'm trying to think. There are beginner friendly elements of this character and beginner unfriendly elements of this character. 
He's not a terrible character to pick up as a first character. Cross up Air Tatsu Ultra. <gasps> Does that? Yeah, that works. You gotta do. I think it only works into Ultra 2. I don't think Ultra 1 connects. Even though they're the same speed, I think Ultra 1 has like a. I think Ultra 1 is really shitty at this kind of pickup. I did it way too late there. Is he better than other Shotos? Yeah, little elements of him are better than other Shotos. But, um. He has better gimmicks than other Shotos. <laughs> he definitely has the best gimmicks of all the Shotos. I don't know, Akuma has some pretty good gimmicks too, actually. True. Um. That, that should work. No, it's, it's really yeah. shitty. It like yeah. it, it theoretically should work, but the hitbox is just not there. The hitbox of Ultra 2 is great. The hitbox of Ultra 2, literally any time where it looks like it it might fail, you don't need to worry because it's not going to fail. Ultra 2 usually usually comes through. Ultra 1 like never comes through. And because Ultra 2 does a lot more damage on the ground and still works in all the air juggles, a lot of people usually just use Ultra 2 with Oni. Um, I'm trying to think of a really notable uh, Ultra scenario he loses. If you choose Ultra 2. I don't know. If you're running Ultra 1, I don't know. That one. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's, that's, that's a very underrated Ultra setup. I jump in normal into Ultra. That's frequently a really good idea. If you had less than two bars, and and you were jumping over, like, you saw a fireball under you. Like, I was throwing a fireball as you jumped, and you saw it under you, like, passing under you. That would actually be, like, the... That would be the exact optimal combo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so like it's it's not it's not useless. That's Could actually some people like a jab or something. You get the almost full scaling. Yeah. Uh, what's this bread and butter? I guess no. Hold on. Let's do this by the by the book. Anti air probably stand fierce. Definitely hard uppercut. It's a really good one. Medium uppercut with good timing. Hard uppercut works even if you don't time it that well. Medium uppercut, if you get it deep, you get all three hits, and then you can F ADC, and it does more damage even if you don't F ADC. Uh, crouch Fierce technically works, but not as good as Stained Fierce or Uppercut. But Crouch Fierce hits cross-ups, which is really useful. Um, this maybe works. I don't know. You don't really need it up. He's got an Uppercut. He's got a three-frame DP. Shoto's DP is awesome, yeah. and Oni's DP is particularly awesome among them. So um, that should be your air-to-air, -air, like, I mean anti-air, like 90% of the time. And if you want nice, safe anti-air... You can just do EX uppercut, and no matter how you time that, you're not going to get hit out of it. And it does quite high damage too, so that's good. And of course you get the um, the light DP. That's really... I, I, I should have talked about that one more. That works into both ultras as well. If you get anti-air light DP, you can um, ultra after it. I mean, I've shown it before when we were talking about it. Or even before we were talking about it. But we can... Um, that's not... It's better with ultra 1 than ultra 2. But that's not a bad ultra setup by any means. That only barely hit, considering how early I did it. So kind mm -hmm. of freaky. <laughs> Oni's like f trying to disappoint right now. My whole shoulder, man. This is gone. I'm missing most of my legs, too. I wonder how much of him can possibly break off. Um, Alright, so... Let's talk about anti... Oh yeah, anti-air light DP into air demon. I already mentioned that when I was talking about um, air demon, but that's there. I've been really bad with my ground demons today, but my air demons have been spot on. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, let me think. I guess we're going to talk about anti-focus. Um, you've got, you've got low forward EX Tatsu, or low forward EX Fireball are both okay. They're not great. Um, his actual armor breakers are Slash, and I guess EX Stomp, and I think the regular Stomps aren't. I think they're vulnerable to it. Uh, let me think. What's, um, does he have any, does he have another armor breaker? Gotta look at this guy's fucking command list. Well, I guess you can use you, you SRK because the moves come up pretty fast. But. His Tatsu is an armor break. I didn't remember yeah. that. Do it, do it. Some Shotos... No, not like... Do the focus. <laughs> <laughs> some some Shotos... Some Shotos... I think Akuma's Tatsu and Evil Ryu's are not armor break, even though... So that's why I thought his weren't, because his Tatsu's usually are like theirs. But well, I guess his... Oh, his I guess, yeah, Akuma has palm. Yeah. Akuma's only armor yeah, break is, is, is palm. 
So, uh, Tatsu was a good... Has axe kick. Yeah. So, that's, um... That's a pretty good armor breaker, actually. That's probably his best one. And you can even cancel into it for, uh... Uh... Optimal damage. And optimal speed. Any characters to help Oni with this bad matchup? So, I don't know. I think Oni usually suffers against heavy heavy zoning with... No, I don't know. Oni's okay versus some heavy zoning. I feel like uh, Oni versus Gal is alright. Even though Gal is really fireball heavy and really... Um, uh, I don't know. I know Oni-chan is supposed to be pretty bad. I think that one was already brought up. I think that's supposed to be kind of a hard matchup for Oni. Oni has a really hard time approaching her. Um, I don't know. Uh, let me see here. Anti-focus, pretty much those. I think both. I think Ultra One is a pretty good anti-focus. And leniency on that, Jesus. I oh, just kind of long. It's not that long. It feels about normal. Um, so anti-fireball. His anti-fireball. He's got his own fireball, so you can just you know wait it out, look for your good opportunities, build some meter. But then, if you actually really want the anti-fireball, you can either you can do like jump jetpack. Use that to navigate fireballs. I did like a quarter circle forward the first time. And then you can do, um, uh, I don't know, ninja jumps into jetpack. So that's a pretty good option. Like normally when you ninja jump, you don't carry the, the potential to go forward. But Oni can like jump, ninja jump, and then if he sees a fireball, he can jetpack still. So that's pretty useful. And um, uh, you've got the you got the medium slash, but that you, it's really prediction heavy. And then you've got the EX Slash, which is also, unfortunately, really prediction-heavy. Um, it's not that... EX Slash, like, it, you can... If it hit on the front, you would be able to just use it to punish Fireball, since it goes through them a lot... Like, it goes through them more efficiently than the Medium Slash does. You can let the Fireballs get closer to you and still do it. But the problem is that it won't hit until it actually passes through the opponent, which is really irritating. You can't... Like, it's it's you have to basically predict the Fireball. And if you predict the fireball, it's pretty rewarding. Unfortunately, when it hits that far out, it's really hard to get a juggle. Because, like, you're on a weird... You're, like, directly under them. Like, you don't know if you're going to be on the front or the back. And the recovery's pretty long, mm -hmm. too. I guess you could do a air ultra one. Like, not air ultra one, but a... Yeah, yeah. One. Yeah. That would work. Um... Let me think here. His answers to fireballs are not that good, to be honest. You got that, which is really good for answering fireballs, but unfortunately, again, only works it really far away. You can, uh, I didn't even mention this, but you can, um, you can, you can, uh, you can pressure with it, and it's a huge window that you can interrupt, but, uh, for people who aren't going for the window, it's quite powerful, and by quite powerful, I mean it does all of fucking more chip than a regular fireball. And it's plus 12 on block. <laughs> yeah, it's plus a lot, so, you know, good for pressure. Followed up with an overhead. Oh. Uh, let me see here. So, combos, I guess? If I was Oni and I was doing combos, my bread and butter combos for punishing, like after a focus attack, I'd probably do, um, back strong, stand fierce, hard thought to for a very basic combo. And this is, these are just generic punishes, like if I, even if I, if I saw a, uh, uh, whoa, really? Time out. EX slash, you can't FADC it. It's not FADC able. But if it hits on the front, it is FADCable. That's really funny, actually. I never knew that. Thanks, Regosling. <laughs> um. Anyway, I already mentioned that rock. Uh. So. Uh. If I blocked an uppercut or something, I could do back strong, stand fierce, uppercut, back strong, stand fierce, hard tattoo, those kinds of combos. And if I had the two bars to burn, I would go for uh. A light slash, and then from the light slash, I'd FADC into maybe another back strong stand fierce into another uppercut or tatsu. That did uh, 400 damage pretty easily, so that's nice. Cancel the nullify into super. I'm the one, I'm pretty sure I made that up. I'd never seen anyone mention it before, and then I released a Raging Demon video in which I showed it off, and now I see people mention it occasionally. I'd never seen anyone describe it. I like search sure you can for it. I'm pretty sure I invented that. I'm like, I mean, maybe there was like someone in Japan who like made it up, but then I'm pretty sure I made it up too. I definitely came up with it on my own while I was looking for things to do. Oh, I love that hit. 
I made that up too, but I think other people found that without my help. <laughs> the fact that it makes a strong noise makes it better. Cause it's, I know, because it's, 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 so, it's so underwhelming. I think um, I think DJ has a neutral jump, strong or fierce, that knocks down like that. I think DJ's is a fierce. Yeah, just it makes the wrong sound effect for that kind of slam. Yeah, uh, Rufus's overhead makes a uh, yeah. Any sound. Anyway, it's when weird. you when you do the when you do the light slash combo, well, I was doing combos with no links, but if you want to add on links, you'd probably go for back back strong back strong or low strong back strong, which are both the same difficulty. And then if you're doing combos like those, you can. Um, I'm fucking it up. 